Hello, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to do a little bit of unboxing and our next mod. I got here is a 30 inch rigid industries radiance light bar with the blue backlighting I got rigid industries rock light kit we got four of these they're gonna go in the wheel wells and then underneath the truck we went with Lux lighting systems max lights and these are blue as well so it should look pretty good underneath the truck and then right here is my mount for the cutout and the bumper this mount is made by CJC Off-Road. Check it out. So what these do is they mount, you take off your tow hooks and they mount underneath the tow hooks between the bumper mounts and the tow hooks. They come with all the hardware to do the installation. So let's let's get to mountain. Let's mount, mount this. Up. Let's mount this. So to complete this installation, you need a three-quarter inch socket and wrench. And and as you can wife. see, an awesome wife that's gonna hold the wrench on the back side while I loose in the front side. Don't drop it on my head. No, it's your the one that's gonna drop it, not me. This is love. should be almost there. You're flashing me. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna pull the tow hook out. Okay. Ready? Good job. Boop. Boop. <laughs> the work out of you. Alright, my key. There you have it. Thanks for the wife's help. This is a difficult job with just uh, one person. Um, tow hooks out. For the installation of the new hardware, you're going to need an 8 millimeter Allen head. You're going to want to use a 15 millimeter wrench on the back side for the supplied nuts. This is how the bracket mounts behind the tow hook. You're going to take the bolt and you're going to slide it through with the washer in front of it, through the hole. And on the back side of the bumper mount, you're gonna use the supplied 15 millimeter nut. We're gonna repeat the process on this side with removal and installation. And that's supposed to be on the buses. Yes, that's supposed to be like that. I know, I, because yeah, it's going to hold the bar. What do you think, guys? Did the wife do a stellar job? Always. We got the mounts installed. We're going to install the Radiance light bar. Ooh. So what you're going to do is use the supplied bolt, you're going to slide it in here, and then you're going to put this black retainer, like so. Hetty is going to slide the bolt through the hole in the CJC off-road mount, and then I'm going to apply the washer and the lock nut. Dun, dun, dun. And then we're going to repeat the process on the other side. You may have to use a very large adjustable wrench to flex this out a little bit without the light bar being in place to get it to fit in these holes. A lot of light bars have it so you screw from the outside in. 
but this light bar does not. I think your wife did one hell of a job. Yeah, my wife helped. You definitely need a second hand for doing this installation. Well, I've done it before without my wife on my other truck, but it's definitely beneficial. We knocked this out like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna wire this up along with the rock lights and the Lux lighting system, max LED pods. So we're going to 10-8, see you in the morning. Good morning, it is the following day and we're on our way to 10-8 Emergency Vehicle Services in New Holland, Pennsylvania. Um, we're gonna finish the install, we're gonna do the wiring and install the rock lights and it is 0725 hours on this brisk chilly morning southeastern Pennsylvania so a little history on how I came to know Tenny as many of you probably know already and if you don't I work in the emergency services part of my duties are to manage the fleet of police vehicles for my department and we use 10-8 to do all of our vehicle upfitting. Thanks, buddy. We've been using them for approximately four years, and by far, um, they've done the best job. I've been in, in law enforcement for over 18 years, and I've seen some pretty shoddy uh, installations. So I reached out to Scott Noor, told him about my little project I got going on, and I'm sort of in a time crunch because I need to be out of here by uh, noon, one o'clock, pushing it. But noon, because the wife and I are going to uh, Assateague Island today. And we're gonna be there for the remainder of the week into Sunday. So I <sighs> figured, why not go to the place that, you know, these guys know what the heck they're doing. They do quality installations, very thorough. And, um, you know, I'll be helping along the way doing what I can do to help expedite the process, but uh, they're the experts. They do this day in and day out. There's so much technology that they're putting into emergency vehicles. You know, whether it's a fire truck, ambulance, you know, some type of emergency response vehicle. I mean, computers, you got radios, you got cameras, you have microphones, you have GPS, multiple GPS, you got printers. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you need your vehicle upfitted, whether it's a police car, fire truck, ambulance, some other type of emergency vehicle, tow truck, some type of utility vehicle, um, reach out to Scott Knorr. I'll put his information in the description below. He will take care of you. And uh, if you ever need anything, he's always there for you. So if there's an issue with your installation, or you need to update something, adding additional equipment to your your vehicle Scott's there for you I could call Scott on a Saturday and Scott will call me back that's the type of customer service and the type of company well that's the type of person Scott is and the type of company that he works for he, he truly cares about his customers definitely check him out let him know Ram B's project sent you
Mitch is tidying up the back end here. Wheel well's done. If you can see it, and Travis is finishing up on the front end. We're gonna wire the back lighting for the Radiance light bar with the pods on one switch and then the spotlight on the light bar on another switch. And then all the ground lights and rock lights are gonna be wired on another switch. And what's great about this truck, it's equipped with upfitter switches, which are gonna plug in right there. been loomed and we're just finishing up a few minor details. Everyone all of a sudden got silent in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you break out a camera. <laughs> The rear wheel wells were easy to, uh, well, liners, they were easy to remove. The front ones were a little bit of a pain in the butt. My goodness. <laughs> what do you think of the rock lights? I like them. Pretty bright. Yeah, they're bright. Sorry for the abrupt end to the video. I was crunched for time. I wanted to be out of here, out of Pennsylvania by two, actually one o'clock, and hopefully be in Delaware by four, and it just didn't work out, uh, unfortunately. Wifey so, was impatient. Yeah, Wifey was getting a little frustrated with me. The installation took a little bit longer than expected. There's a lot of wire that we had to run for this installation, but, 10-8 emergency vehicle services knocked it through the park again. Their uh, work is phenomenal. I can't be. I, I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm ecstatic. They look really. They did fun. a really good job. They had the backlighting wired to a switch. Spotlight wired to a switch. And all the lights on the frame, the underglow, and the wheel well lights all wired to a switch. I'm utilizing three of the upfitter switches, which is the cool thing. It's already in the truck, right there, one through five. Now each one of these have different amperages, but they're all relayed and controlled through the PCM or the ECU in the truck. So I could program these switches to operate on ignition, battery, momentary, or latched. So it just makes life so much simpler. So like I said, they're already fused and relayed. And then these come out of the upfitter switches and the lights that are hooked into the underglow and the wheel wells and the backlighting all are fused again going out. So is the spotlight, but that's a separate fuse on that actual wire going to the to the light so um, it's very clean the installation enjoy this nice night shot of the truck
enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button for us. Greatly appreciate it. We're not done. We have more mods coming this week. Um, we're going to collab with the Jeep shop again to upgrade some components in the BDS suspension with more BDS components. The Oktoberfest YouTube callout, Cecil County, Maryland. That is next weekend. If any of you guys want to follow me to that show or the, the race or whatever you want to call it, the YouTube callout, the event, uh, the, event the YouTube Oktoberfest callout event, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram at Ram Beast Projects. You can also follow us on Twitter at Ram Beast Project and on Facebook at Ram Beast Projects. And we also have a Facebook group if anyone's interested. Um, sometimes I put out some information prior to putting out videos on uh, my YouTube channel on the group. So check it out. If you haven't gotten your Ram Beast merch yet, you have to check that out as well. We're going to have new decals. These will be live on the site next week two sizes and you can purchase them at rambeastprojects.com let's cross over to Virginia why not oh. hi Marilyn hi. <laughs> thanks for watching guys have a great week